Hey guys, Ivan here, and the topic of this video will be Big Ramy. Obviously, he is one of the biggest topics lately in bodybuilding coming to the Arnold Classic, since he looks to be in his best conditioning ever possibly. His face looks really good at this point. He has that diet face or that face, whatever you want to call it. He looks to be in really good conditioning. But the question that everybody is pretty much wondering and pretty much nobody knows the real answer is who is helping him? Who is coaching him at this point? Who is the person responsible for Big Ramy actually bringing the conditioning? We are not exactly sure at this point is he really gonna bring the conditioning. We'll see that on the stage, but at this point everybody is wondering who is his coach because he didn't really made it public. He never really mentioned his coach in his posts and his videos, but I got an info for you guys and I'm gonna show it to you in a moment. But first let's remember who also coached Big Ramy in the past. If you remember, when he first started, he was coached by Dennis James. At that point, I really liked Big Ramy's physique. He was truly big. He was really a monster. He was really full. He wasn't very conditioned. I think his muscle just wasn't matured enough. He was still pretty young into bodybuilding. He turned pro recently before that, so he didn't really look as matured as he looked later, but he was really full, right? He was really huge. He was very symmetrical also. Not very proportionate, of course, he never really was, and he'll probably never, never be because of those huge legs, but he looked really good at that point. Then later, he switched so many coaches. He's probably the most inconsistent bodybuilder when it comes to staying with one coach. He switched a lot of them. He basically worked with uh, all the top coaches. So he started, and when he first came, it was Dennis James. I'm not sure exactly in which order and which show, but I know that it was Dennis James, if that's like the, the first one that I remember. Then it was also George Farah. With George Farah, he also looked amazing. I'm pretty sure that George Farah prepped him for that Arnold Classic Europe 2016 or 17, where he looked outstanding, possibly his best edition ever. 2015, that was Arnold Classic Brazil, where he also looked one of his best shapes ever. Not the most conditioned one, but really full, really, really full. Also, you must notice that the lighting was really good at the Siren Classic Brazil 2015, which obviously Big Ramy won. Then later, he, I think at that point, he went to Kuwait. He was coached by Badr Budai himself when it came to the drugs, that's what we heard. And he also had a team of other coaches when it came to training and nutrition. So basically, he was coached by the guys from Kuwait. Then, later, he worked a little bit with Chris Aceto. Again, I'm not 100% certain which coach it was for which year, but it was something like this. After ending his relations with Chris Aceto, there was a talk that he might work with Henry Rambot. And uh, that didn't happen, that didn't happen really, but he started working with Neil Hill. And that was very brief. That was uh, really brief and it ended abruptly, so he stopped working with him. After, I believe, Neil Hill told him that he shouldn't prep for the Mr. Olympia 2019, that he should just take a year off, which he did. He, he listened to him, basically, but he ended his relations with Neil Hill as well. I'm not sure if he worked with any other coaches. It's possible. I'm not sure if you guys know of any other coaches that he worked with. You let me know. But he ended his relations with Neil Hill, and now he is working with a different coach. And he is coached by me. I am coaching Big Ramy. <laughs> of course, I'm joking, and I have an info for you. Based on the RX muscle, based on Dave Palumbo, this is Big Ramy's coach. Take a look at this. Ramy seems to look like he's suffering. He's depleted. Now, that's not to say that a week out from the show, he won't get ruined and they will try to fill him up too much. I know Patrick Tour has gotten people in shape before. That's Ramy's coach. Who the hell is Patrick Tour? I have no idea, but I did a little Instagram search and I found him right here. So this is him, this is his Instagram profile. You'll find a lot of bodybuilders, a lot of good bodybuilders, pro bodybuilders, like right here, Josh Lenartowitz. Yeah, he's prepping Josh. I didn't know that. Um, you can also find guys like uh, Nicholas Wallywood or whatever his last name is, the 212 guy, that a uh, huge guy, the beast of a man. Um, very short, but still beast. Ian Valier also. I didn't know that. thought that Matt Jensen was still coaching him. Here you can see what he looks like. So basically, this is Big Ramy's coach, but you cannot find Big Ramy in his photos on his Instagram. 
Why would that be the case if he's actually coaching Big Ramy? Well, there is a possibility. I think my best guess would be the fact that Big Ramy was so inconsistent up until this point that he changed so many coaches. And when he changes a coach, when he drops a coach, when he fires a coach, it kind of sends a negative message about that coach. When a bodybuilder stops working with a certain coach. And that's probably, maybe, maybe why Big Ramy didn't want to have any more drama if he ever decides not to work with him again. Or, or Patrick Tour himself didn't want that kind of drama. I mean, sure, that would definitely be a huge advertisement of his name. And then, therefore, his business. But it is a double-edged sword. Because if Big Ramy drops him, it means something didn't work out. He is another coach that didn't manage to uh, make Big Ramy conditioned. And that's also another thing. Big Ramy was never conditioned. Now, many people are wondering why is that? Is that because of his genetics? Is it because of the coaches? Is it because he is not working hard enough? Patrick Tour doesn't know that. Maybe the problem is that Big Ramy is not dieting uh, properly the way that his coaches are telling him. So if Patrick Tour helps Big Ramy and Big Ramy doesn't get conditioned, he comes soft again. Some people would blame Patrick for that, right? So his stock would fall a little. So it, it's a double-edged sword. If he manages to, to get Rig Remy conditioned, then I'm sure he's going to claim him as his athlete. He's going to post a bunch of photos. But right now, he's probably playing it safe. Maybe the deal is not to mention it in the end. Maybe that's the deal, but I don't know. I don't know why it's a secret. After all, this is just myself guessing. If you guys have any, any better ideas, let me know down below in the comment section. But basically now you know. Now you know that the secret is out, the cat is out of the bag. You can see his coach, it's Patrick Tour. Now you learned about him. If you didn't know about him before, I didn't know about him. And uh, the reason why he is not public, we can only guess. We can only guess. I can assume. I made a couple of assumptions in this video. But we'll see, we'll see what happens after the Arnold, if he comes conditioned or not conditioned. Dave Palombo did say that he has seen Patrick have great results with some other athletes. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Anyways, now you know, Patrick Tour is Big Ramy's coach for 2020, Arnold Classic, and if he nails the conditioning, hopefully for Mr. Olympia as well. So guys, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section, like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best guys, and bye-bye.